How far do you think this thing's gonna go? Like 40 meters. What? Are you kidding me? Well, with one. This is gonna go hundreds of meters. Really? Yeah. Looking pretty cool. What we got is a, a 10 foot long steel projectile. Pretty simple. And go. There we go. That's what's gonna happen. So that's our little trigger nipple. And then the, the projectile has a hole. A super precision hole, right? What is oh, it? Yeah. Three eighths? Um, 11, 30 seconds. Okay, see? Very precise. And we're going to do some calculations. Mm -hmm. Right? We're going to put some estimates together of how far this thing is going to go. We're not just welders here. We're scientists. Here it is, the long-range human-powered artillery. All about the uh, Russian invasion and the design. Oh yeah, this was where the real physics started, eh? So what are we going to do? Well, we were trying to try and figure out the velocity. Yeah, the initial velocity. So how are we going to figure that out? Well, last time here, we need to figure out the energy we put into right. the, the energy we put into the elastics. So this is the graph of the force and the distance. And then what did we do? Broke it down into work components. So we could figure out the total work done. And we just approximated with those three areas, right? Mm -hmm. So the total work done was? 605 joules. That's quite a bit, eh? Yeah. I must be I must be capable of quite a bit of work. And then uh, we came up with 15 meters per second. So we need to measure uh, based on our new projectile mass. Mm -hmm. We got to weigh it. So we got to do all this again with our new elastic setup. Yeah. Right. And the new calculate theory. the energy in, calculate the theoretical muzzle velocity. Then we're going to use our new muzzle velocity, our new angle, and calculate the distance. Let's do it. This is a 20 foot spear gun, but it's more than that is physics 11. Yeah, you don't have to sit down and read a textbook. This is what homeschooling looks like. You need to just build some weaponry. <laughs> you can do this at home. Build your own anti hot air balloon aircraft. No, the backcountry bonanza, it's all wrapped up. Talking you guys, about figuring it out. You guys found all the prizes. All you online guessers, on the Instagram and on the YouTube, we're gonna announce. announce those winners, but at the end. What's exciting is when you make, when you understand a concept and then you apply some equations and take some observations and then predict accurately something. Like when I say this thing's gonna fly a certain distance, it flies a certain distance. We're gonna have to take out of its cute case because it does not fit in the end of our projectile. But this thing's gonna give us acceleration in three axes yes but we have to get it in here somehow oh look what does that say dataconcepts.com oh there you go gulf coast data concepts thank you you created an awesome device let us know if this is not the way it's supposed to be installed in a projectile it looks protected hey we've got the two little leds the status leds showing that's electrically isolated yep i wiggle it in there Okay, we're close. Let's go. So you got this figured out? Sort of. Okay, show me. So we calculated all the energy stored in the elastics. This is for one. This is all for all four elastics. Yep. And then from before... So that's 2,594 joules. Yeah. So this is the actual energy okay. that we think is stored in the elastics. Yeah, or that we're going to get out of the elastics. Right, yeah. Yep. So what's the speed going to be? 30 blah 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 37 meters, meters per, per second. second that's in the direction of travel it's 37 meters right. per second yeah, yeah. so then right. then we carry on and we want to know how far it will go so we need to know how long it's going to be in the air so blah 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 it should be in the air <laughs> <laughs> for 
three seconds. Because um, we still want to know how far it's going to go. Yeah. We calculated it'll be go 137.8 meters. How, how accurate do you think that's going to be? I think it'll be a little bit less than that, but I yeah. think that's pretty accurate. I think we're going to be within 10%. Probably. Are you ready to try this? Yeah. Let's shoot it already. Let's go! <laughs> what do you think? That's crazy. What do you think, ladies? It's quite the contraction. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like how it just sticks way up in the air? It's ridiculous. Okay, aim it right down the road. Down the road. Yeah, no one's coming. Okay, so it's recording right now. Little lights are flashing. Okay. Trigger's loaded. Am I gonna get hit here? I hope yeah. not. Right, no, seriously? No. no, shouldn't, shouldn't. If you get hit, we're all gonna get hit. <laughs> the next one, yep, this is great. This is working good. It's weird about these ropes. It's no. Missing. I don't know why. Okay, that's just a little rope burn. But I think it's going to be okay. Okay, so. Maybe you wear gloves. Yeah, I brought gloves actually. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you guys okay with this? Is this awesome? Are you going to be the trigger, girl? Abby. Abby, Abby is? Miss Physics? Okay, let's just wait. Where are you videoing that? I'm going down here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. No, I'm safe down here. I'm okay, hit the trigger. Ready? Yep. Hey, just a second. Is the accelerometer in there? It's on. Oh! It's bent. How bent? Is the lights on? Yeah. No way! Let me see. The lights are still flashing. Must have hit a rock or something. Oh, man! Like okay, stop. Don't it. move it. Is this where we it came already. from? No way. <laughs> <laughs> it went really high. That was awesome. You could hardly see that it went so high. I know. I totally lost it in the camera. So, so I don't high. even know if I saw it. Dad, I have to look. I got this. Okay, we got to measure it like old fashioned way with this guy here. So 90 meters from so here. I am. And then, so I mean, it's just another couple meters. So 90, you measure it exactly, but it's going to be 93 or something like that, right? But you know what I just realized? It's more than a. <laughs> Look at the angle on that quad. It is uh, it is a lot more than 45 because we parked the tire way up on this rut. That it went so high. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it went way higher. We all lost it in the camera. And it's showing 53 degrees, right? We wanted 45. So it went quite a bit, not as far as we thought. Well, not, oh. That's the oh, roper. Yeah, <laughs> Here, this one. Right on, Ab. Thanks to Mr. Peter Wilmer for letting us be a little creative with our Physics 11 course. Because if Physics 11 doesn't involve a 20 foot spear gun, huh? what's the point? Of physics without spear guns. Yeah. Yeah. We're back in the office. Are you ready for this? We found some really cool data. Check this out. There it is. There is the full flight duration, three axis acceleration. And this thing was in the air for almost, how long was it in the air for? 5.66 seconds. 5.6 seconds. What is all this stuff? It's wiggling in the air. It's vibrating in the air. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like rotating or spinning or a combination, right? Mm -hmm. We took just the launch period and we zoomed in 
And it's really interesting because the acceleration kind of goes up. And what we realized was we maxed it out. This yeah. accelerometer is only good for 16 Gs. Yeah, but way more than that. So we built another graph where we put in our predicted, uh, or our, yeah, our, our predicted acceleration, which really should have been, it should have almost instantly gone to a peak value because that was our, our peak force. Based on our predicted acceleration, we get right up to 36 meters per second, which is like almost exactly Pretty our much. predicted velocity. Mm -hmm. And the displacement didn't work out quite as well, but the displacement ends up being... Three, yeah, that's what we were. <gasps> oh my goodness, it is too! 3.53. Okay, we're not actually that accurate. That's kind of fluky that it ended up being like bang on, right? But the point is, this is cool! We can calculate stuff. Yeah. We can build rockets. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I think we should do is shoot this thing. Again. Like, just for fun. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, you might have noticed a little discrepancy <laughs> in our original prediction. We were hoping, we were expecting 137 meters of displacement in the X plane. Mm. However, we only measured 93 meters. A big disappointment. There has to be a reason. Well, we know we ignored the f air friction. Yeah. But I'm thinking, can air friction really account for that much difference? <laughs> I think it, but, that burns up so I have, space shuttles. So I, it does. It does. And it can be significant. Here's the thing. If the pipe is flying straight, it has a cross-sectional area of like almost nothing. Right. But the flight of it, it doesn't, I don't have a tip on it. This is what I learned. Mm. Uh, the tip is very important. It punches a hole. Because, no, because if you want your projectile to fly like that, then the tip has to be heavier. Right. But if it's just, ours has no tip, and so it just flies. It's, it's got no point. At the same angle. And when it's flying like this, guess what? It's 10 feet long and an inch wide. So if you can tell me, oh, I'm going to give away a hat. <laughs> if you can tell me the force of friction, the force of air friction, at when the pipe is perfectly perpendicular to the air, it's a one inch pipe and it's 10 feet long. And don't worry about the altitude, but it's going 37 meters per second. Tell me what the force is. It's pretty significant. You and me yeah. are quite similar yeah. in this respect. Handsome. Also, oh, okay. we both believe in homeschool. Yes. Although I hate the word. Please, can you guys come up with a better word for this? Oh, it's home, like homely. Like you're so homely. You know, those super awkward <laughs> kids that breastfeed till they're like eight years old. That's not who we are. You've never breastfed. We ne- <laughs> School needs to be way better than it is. Yeah. This textbook stuff is useless. Like, I know you can learn. I did that. I went Depends through it. Depends on your learning time. And I got, like, I know a few people really get off on that. You need to, like, ingrain the knowledge. Live it. You need yeah. to understand the concept. You need to, like, feel the impact. You know, maybe get the rope burn. Pull the trigger. Like, the best education is something that you do and experience. Right. You can't have 30 kids with spear guns. I'm just saying there is way better ways. Let's there, not judge the other ways. There's another way. Okay, let's see if this thing can go through a brick wall. Well... What do you think, girls? <laughs> Look at you like Scud missile operators. <laughs> How many newtons of force are we going to put on this thing? Uh, 1,285 or something like that. Yeah, I think it's basically 1,300 newtons. Okay. One more. No, no that's, that's it. it. That was it. Oh, baby, now listen, when you launch it, Make sure you whack it good the first time, hey? Aren't you launching it? No, you're the girl. Just a second. Really? Yeah, <laughs> go for it. No pressure, Adam. Just a second. Wait. Whoa. Let's try it. Backwards? Yes, yes. Holy cow, look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the block it hit blew up. No way. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. A whole bunch of pieces, eh? Ready? Go. We gotta work on our aiming system, hey? Yeah. Look at that. Blew up another brick. Look at the chunks way over here. This is not too, too bad. No? Can we reuse it? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, this is the time. We hit the water barrel. Look at that. You guys ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Look at this wall! That was a direct hit. That was great. Oh yeah, we're totally gonna reuse yeah, this area. We'll have to cut oh, the top off or something. Goodness. Um we'll have to cut the top off. Yeah. Okay, cut the top off. I'll meet oh, you at the gun. Oh, great. we broke that one in. The half still stayed in. Oh yeah, we sheared it right off. Okay, hit it. Three, two. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's bleeding! Woo! Oh, it's a gusher! <laughs> That's perfect! Oh, man! Yep, man broke more wall. Man, look at Man! <laughs> that is great! Okay, last arrow. Here we go. I wonder like, what the odds are of hitting that GoPro. I'm taking my chances. One, two, one. Yeah. Wow, deadly. Oh, man. We shoot better than Uncle Sean. What's that, like a two-inch group? Get another arrow, I bet you we could get three. Yeah, and did I break my camera? Nope. I did not break my camera. Awesome. Bonus. Here. Oh man, and it's stuck in the ground. I'm moving this one. So it went through the barrel. Straight through this time, eh? Hit hit this thing. Broke another brick. And stuck in the dirt. It's almost like this thing has two thousand joules of energy at impact. Almost. Okay, was that the last one? Yeah. Okay. Next up, Physics 12. This is how Angry Birds is supposed to be played. The fresh smell of a smashed cinder block. Gushing, mm. glooshing, bleeding barrel. That's how you remember your physics, your projectile motion. Yeah. Oh, did a child just come out of the bushes? She I did. Think so. That was good. Wow, okay. You'll, you'll have to okay. uh, drop her off further away next time. <laughs> <laughs> they keep coming back. <laughs> So thank you all for playing the Backcountry Bonanza. It was fun. We learned. We're going to do, we're going to figure out how to do this again. This... And we're going to do it better. The winner of the drop a pin online, G Mazoos. That's your Instagram. I don't know what your name is. We're going to give you a, uh, like a, a, a code to get your hat off our website. Because okay. you're going to get a free Gridless's hat. And you can nice. pick whichever one you want. Immerdren Blieben. Blieben. Immer, okay. Immerdrem Bleiben. <laughs> but we think your name is Ingo Steichler. Steichler. Anyways, you win a hat! And also from YouTube, Slammy T. Way to go. Good job. Slammy T's on the button. Back to Immerdrem Bleiben? Ingo. Mr. Steichler. Ingo Steichler. It's, it's impossible that you were that accurate. How did you do this? How did you get it so close? Because... Because they was close not for just one, but... Because you're in three. Germany. Yeah. You're not even close by. Do you work for the German Secret Is he, Service? Are you in the CIA of Germany? Are you? <laughs> he could be.